Hello Triumph Enthusiasts, my name is James and Nez is back and Nez is ready to get some yo-yo So today is going to be one of them live episodes, no real jump cuts And what we're going to be focusing on is getting the Cascade which we need to get from some of the hell enemies And we also need a yo-yo die because we don't have any single die And that's really strange because we have been playing quite a long time And we have not had a die from a travelling merchant nor a skeleton merchant which, which, you know, it's really disappointing, right? Really, really stunning. And I'm really sorry if there's any excess noise um, today because there's a lot of construction going around um, my little area today. So hopefully there will be no banging. So today we're going to just be starting off by going straight to the underworld. Ooh. <clears> Throat is still sore from being ill. But yeah, we're going to be going straight to the underworld today and we are going to be destroying lots of things, right? That's the plan, right? We've already got... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really ill today. <laughs> We've already got Avalor. Avalor already has the Magma Stone, so we've already got that fire effect, so it's not something we have to really worry about right now. We're not really doing that for this fire effect. What we're doing it for is greatness, right? We need every single yo-yo if we're ever gonna win, right? So let's carry on doing that. Oh yeah, this black slime, we'll grab that. Man, my fruit keeps going today. Look at that, listen to that groggy sounds. I love some coffee, make it all better. But yes, today is a live episode because um, I didn't want to spend too much time just in my own world, just, you know, farming away at stuff. I, I really don't like farming for stuff in Terraria um, off camera because, you know what, it's insanely boring for me. And to be honest, it's not that entertaining for you at home. So we're going to do it live today. And we got medusa -ed. Absolutely medusa -ed, but Avalor is... Insanely powerful, right? We've got a very, very powerful Valor. Now, it may be worth also mining for some Hellstone while we're down there. You know, it probably is worth it. We managed to craft... Oh no, we've managed to craft every single piece. What am I thinking of? Wow, we really are strong. <laughs> Look at that. There was me getting confused between two different series. Wow, so we're actually, we're actually doing pretty well with this playthrough so far. Like I say, it's all down to random number generators, right? We haven't had a skeleton merchant yet, right? We can't control that, right? It's completely random, right? And by random, I mean really, really random because honestly, like, most of my worlds barely ever see the guy, right? Where is he? What's he off doing? That's why I want to know. <laughs> Hashtag find the skeleton man. They're gonna mine through here. But a lot of people have been saying that a really good way to find the Skeleton Merchant is to mine through the world like this, as you can see I'm doing here, but make a nice little clear path that cuts through the whole of the world. However, that honestly seems like it takes too long, and the trick with anything, uh, finding anything in life, is to not look for it, <clears throat> and eventually it will show up, and I'm really sorry about the coughing. It will eventually show up, so I have faith in that. Today though, it's all about getting that 1 in like 500 drop rate of that Cascade, right? Because that's what we need. Now the trick is to get it before we go into hard mode as well. It's not something that we can like essentially just skip over. Alright? Which is a shame. Because if I was doing a yo-yo playthrough where you could only use yo-yos and that was the whole idea, then it would be fine. But because of my one, um, and mine is get every single yo-yo, right? We have some difficult challenges to face. Alright, compared to a lot of other people. Um, because they can just, you know, they can swing by the game with a yo-yo. Right, they could probably use this yo-yo here to go to the next one, and then they could skip about five in the hard mode. We're dedicated, right? We're Nez, right? Nez needs every single yo-yo there is. And that's what we're dedicated to doing today. Now, I'm really weary about killing enemies over this little lava pool here. Ooh! Because I don't want the yo-yo to drop in and we lose it. Because if we lose it, I would definitely rage quit. Be slamming my keyboard around. I don't know, interrupted by my mum. My mum says, you know, James, keep it down. I don't know. <laughs> that does happen. That's a lot of gaming cliches. It doesn't happen to me, of course, but... <laughs> I see it happen. I see it happen. So we're just going to fly over here. And honestly, it's all just about sitting in today and just really praying for that nice little drop. Because we did this last time. Last time I did this, um, I recorded it. You know, we prayed for that drop. And guess what happened? It happened, right? We, we managed to get it pretty well, right? Pretty much in the first five to ten minutes. There is some things that we actually have to be doing real, right now, so I should stop just messing around. For one, we need to get loads of ash blocks, right? 
because we're going to need ash blocks for actually building our little uh, pathway across hell because we're not going to be using the water walking boots or anything like that. We do actually need a clear path um, because we need to be able to dodge and such. So we'll just grab as much ash while we're here and we'll keep building and keep talking and that should be the focus of today's episode. I should be able to squeeze a good 20 minutes out today. Um, an interesting 20 minutes. I don't want it to get too long if we're not finding anything. Okay, is this going to be the one? Nope. Are you going to be the one? Nope. You did drop a nice heart, though. Ooh, I hate them little lava pools. That The ones that are actually secretly lava pools, but don't actually look like it. They look like aesthetics. Okay. Ooh, a heart read poach. I'm sure, yeah, I thought I'd pick that up earlier. I didn't realize it didn't. Like this one here, where I've got my mouse. That's a little fake lava pool. It's actually a real one, but it looks like a fake. I'm on to you. Okay. Now, a lot of people were commenting as well in the last week's episode um, that, hey, James, um, it doesn't really matter what you kill. You know, it just counts as people in the underworld. It doesn't, um, it literally, it's a specific drop to that category of enemies in the sense of, like, the ones that spawn. Yeah. It's like, you know, you have to get it from a hell slime or, like, a bat or, um, one of the bone serpents. It's not actually just you could come down with an eater of worlds and just mess stuff up. Sadly, it's not like that. Which is a shame, really, because it would be cool if it was like that, because then we could at least do some pretty cool boss fight stuff and not have to worry about such trivial things. Alright, so we're gonna kill this guy. Alright, he's all gore and blood. And then we're gonna come over here and across here. Ooh, we need to think about where we're going to build this thing, actually. So let's see, we, we actually spawn over here, don't we? Just... Alright, let's have a look on the map, let's see if we can find a clear path. To be honest, here seems like a clear path. Oh no, I've already started building there, so I may as well continue that one, actually. How do we get to this one? We need to make sure it was completely all cut out, though, if we're going to do stuff like this. Whoa. Right, I think I think we can just turn on auto mine and just go for it. I'm not sure how big this is gonna have to be, but I'll just keep going. So auto build. Oh no, you don't really get auto build with this. What I'm gonna do is swap these around though. So then it's like build yo yo, build yo yo. All right, hopefully this doesn't isolate all the enemies as well. That would be a bit of a shame. Okay, ooh, he's getting a bit close. Not close enough though, eh? Okay, let's keep going this way. Ooh, hellbat. Well, nothing. I think this guy down there is just gonna keep teasing us with his presence. He can come along with us. He can be our mascot. Oh, oh, see, see? Teasing us, teasing us. He's playing the long game, he's playing the long game. Ooh, we're already running out of blocks, which is a bit of a shame. Man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about calling them blocks. I don't know why, but when I said blocks there, I was like, I was like, immediately it's path. I feel like I'm playing like a uh, like Lego or something. Not like Lego's bad at all, like that. But I mean, like, like it's it's better to call them like, oh, I've run out of obsidian or ash ashes. I don't know. Like, I've run out of my ash block instead of like, oh, I've run out of blocks. I've run out of bricks. It'd just be weird. Like, I prefer calling, like, wood wood. You don't just pick up down some wood and call it blocks. But I guess they are blocks. In the grand scheme of things. This bone serpent really isn't going, is it? I did say it could be our mascot, but he is teasing us a little bit too much. We just need to get some more ash brick while we're down here. That's the goal, at least. Come on. One of you's gonna have to drop it. All I just need to do is kill like 500 enemies and then we're good. Right? <laughs> I hate the random number generator works like that. Like I actually good, like I actually could kill 500 enemies and not get it. That scares me. Because that would make for a very, very uninteresting episode. Okay, we'll take you down. And then we're just trying to find little slivers of ash that we can actually grab. We'll do, I don't know. Because this, this, how many did that take? That took that was probably about 110, 20 blocks. Um, 
of ash. <laughs> so we'll try and get maybe like another 250. I think that'll be enough. Ooh, I'm sorry I'm destroying this guy with my pickaxe. I don't think that really counts though. Nope, no valor. Uh, cascade. Alright, we'll come down here and we'll mine out this area as well. Man, I feel like my, uh, my flaming pickaxe has extra flames on it because of that magma stone, which is actually quite funny. Alright, okay. Well, that was 180, so we'll just go from there and we'll, we'll probably find the next big sliver by the time we're finished building with this stuff. Alright, now it's probably best we work it up to there just to save a few blocks. So it goes like that. Yeah, that's probably better. Come on, guys, work your way through. Come on, let's tease you. Come over here. Ooh, there's one here though. Well, he's not dropping anything. Are you gonna drop anything? Are you gonna drop anything? No. We will find it though. We will find it. That's the fun thing, because we actually will. Like, there's no possible chance it would never find one. Well, I guess there is a small percentage, but... I have faith in our YouTube look. Alright, so we'll carry on this way. Ooh, I like the little droplets of lava there. Fun little story, I'll just tell a little story while we're just busy. Funny thing is, right, I was, um... I did one of the first big 1.3 spoilers um, that ever got to like be shown by anyone other than a dev, which was obviously really, really cool. Um, and it was meant to show the the bee's knees, the bee bow. Um, but I managed to let slip um, one of the spoilers, which was the lava droplets, and none of us spotted it before the spoiler went out, which is actually pretty funny. Um, it just shows like how such little things, like attention to detail and such, like you can overlook, but they're there. And, do you know what I mean? They mean something because they're there. I thought that was really cool. <gasps> Come on. Nope. Alright, we're doing alright so far. We're, we've built a good distance. People are getting trapped under here, which is kind of annoying. We'll have a look over here. We'll just see what um, see what enemies will spawn. We've got one enemy nearby. I'm just thinking if we get away from that guy, then they'll stop spawning underneath and they might spawn on top again. Need to find an area where it's not worth spawning underneath. So probably like eh, probably this little area we're coming up to now actually. So this area here. This area right here. This is probably the best area. Um but we should be able to do something while we're here, so we'll grab some um ash while we're here. Tell you what, we're gonna have to come by the thing is, right, I keep saying this, I keep saying, oh, we'll have to come back and unlock these chests, but then I remember, honestly, there really is no point. We have money, right? We have money. We can't use any of the weapons out of them. Like, we literally got 28 gold on us. Probably got more back in the uh, piggy bank at home. Which is good, cause it's usually because I don't die much with this character. If I only die, it's really stupid, like deaths. Because uh, yo-yos are really, really powerful, even without the die. Like, even without the die, we've done absolutely fine. Ooh, hello, sir. Thank you out. Oh my god, we got a plumber's hat. That's awesome. They're actually quite rare if I remember rightly. Well, it makes sense. We have been down here a while. Let me just have a look on the map. I just want to see. Uh, oh, that's a die trade. I just didn't want to see if the traveling merchant had spawned. I've not seen it. Wow. <laughs> we got a plumber's hat. That's cool. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it on because obviously it's the branded Nez. We can't, uh, we can't change him around. I mean, you don't see Nez in a Mario thing. However, Nez is a Nintendo uh, licensed. I guess Nintendo licensed. What would you say? He's the property of Nintendo. If I remember rightly, I think he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Earthbound is owned by Nintendo. I don't think it's like third party than licensed. Anyway, that's a really boring conversation. <laughs> so we'll just carry on. Ooh, racking up these enemies, man. If we had a kill counter, right? Like, you would see just how many enemies I have actually killed to do this. Like, because I've done a lot off screen as well, between episodes, so. Okay, this way. 
All right, let's keep building. Um, let's keep building and keep moving forward. Uh, what am I going to do with this area? I think it's probably worth lowering it like this. Yeah, it's probably worth doing that and then doing this and then extending it that way. Like this. I want to make sure we just have lots of coverage just in case you know I start to panic and I want to run ahead. Like I want to know that I would be able to get out alive. All right, we're going to mine we're going to place upwards here. I'm going to go straight over this lava pile and just carry on going. Oh, are you going to be the bat? Every time I see an enemy, I'm just thinking, are you going to be the one that, you know, finishes this episode? Are you going to be it? What if it is this bat? And I'm trapping it right now. Should we see if it was this bat? Should we see? Eh, I don't want that bat. <laughs> what if it's this demon? Yeah, it's not exactly that demon. My god, random number generator, man. Red, if you're watching this, please increase this. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. It would it would probably break something in the game. <laughs> like, I'm sure. Like, I we tweak the yo-yo percentage slightly to the left, and um, Moon Lord gets defeated with one swipe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love little things like that. I love that like the slightest little thing can break a game in terms of balancing. It's crazy. Um. Okay. Ooh. Well, it's not you. Come back up. <laughs> Hell, though, it's looking so much nicer than it did before. Looking so much brighter as well. I love it. There's definitely one of my biggest 1.3 loves is this lovely background. Which is obviously... Um, I've seen how it's made. It's insanely complicated. The way it's all paralleled and parallaxed and whatever. Um, seen like the raw images of what makes the actual hell background. It's actually really, really cool. Like, if you follow my mouse here, like this is a layer, that's a layer, that's a layer, that's a layer. Like half of this bit here will be a layer. Look, that's animation. That's definitely a layer. This is a layer. That's a layer. That's a layer. Do you know what I mean? It's all, honestly, it's all insane. What is that on the map? That right there. Oh, it's this web. Oh. And that looked oddly specific as well. Should we go have a look? Alright, buddy. No cascade for us. Right, where was it? It was here, right? Is this thing? This is the square. Should we bash it away? That looks really, really odd. Um, I don't think we should be venturing upwards. Not got much to see. May refresh the enemies down below a little bit though. Ooh, water walking potion. I'll take that. I love getting potions from pots. Pots and potions are great. So, Nez has not managed to find anything good today, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not too impressed with that. Not too happy that we still haven't managed to find the cascade, but gotta keep grinding, right? Gotta keep grinding on. I think I will actually have to do the Cascade in my free time. I feel like dedicating more than two episodes to it would be a bit of a shame. I think next episode what I'll do is I'll find the Cascade, which I imagine will take me a very long time. Um, I'll find the Cascade and then what we can do is uh, we'll defeat the Wall of Flesh in the next episode. I think that's going to be a good little sign. Uh, ooh, come on the hell bats. Like a bat out of hell. I don't know the words. Tell you what, this is a good thing. I was running then, uh, jumping then. You don't even have to jump on this track, which is good. It's going to be good for later because what it means is like we can have um, like elevated systems where like we jump down and then we can run from one end of the world to the other and then have it swing back up again with some kind of like massive rope chain or something. Instead of building like a platform above ground, we can build it underground. Tell you what, it'd be cool to have a um, a minecart a minecart track that goes that cuts through the world. I know that would take absolutely forever and you'd have to get the dimensions just right, but it would uh, it would look really good and it would be very, very convenient. Okay. Absolutely nothing today. However, Nez has built this fantastic little sky bridge, right? We've got to give credit to him for that because, wow. 
least we're going to be able to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Come on. I just want to keep lingering on with these kills because I just want it so bad. Got a guide voodoo there. No cascade. No cascade. Are you going to drop it? Menacing Obsidian Rose. See, I don't know what that is. One sec. Do you mind if I just bin some... Bin some shiznies. Don't need that health stone. Alright, okay. Reduces damage from touching lava. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I actually really like that, right? If we get rid of this band of regen for a minute, right? This gives us plus four damage. That's actually really good. I will happily take that. That is a... That's a oh my god, we got the cascade. Look at that look! Oh my god. We finally did it, and it's a it's a one drop. Yo yo. Oh my god. We well, you know what's happening next episode, don't you guys? Don't you? Oh yeah. So we got two really cool drops then. We we'll so far this episode, right? Let's let's count our merits. We built a whole sky bridge, right? Which I probably will extend us a little bit in my free time. We have got the obsidian rose, which is actually really cool, right? I I can I can appreciate something like this. Um, we got the plumber's hat, and that's obviously really rare. And we got a demonic cascade in the last minute. I was just about to give up as well, because I was like, oh, hit the 20 minute mark. And here we go, right? Should we test? Ah, oh, yes. Go on, right? Let's celebrate. Come on. Let's, uh, let's go back with the magic mirror. It'd have been a lot louder, but it's really busy today. Otherwise, it'd be a lot louder about this. I'm actually really excited. Oh, yeah. Right? So this is where our cascade's going to go. And then we got, like, four... Just in the pre-hard mode, like, in the, not the pre-hard mode, but the early hard mode that comes up next, and then, ah. Oh. So that's only going to leave us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 yo-yos, right? Wow. Okay, well, have a fantastic day, everyone. I wish you all the best. Um, thank you all for watching. If you managed to make it to the end, even though we didn't find anything for the first 20 minutes, thank you so much. I really appreciate people like you because you are the people that keep this series going. So thank you very, very much. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look how awesome this is. Badass. But yeah. So well, we could probably, um, probably get rid of the melee. Um, probably get rid of the magma stone now because this already inflicts um, fire, doesn't it? So look, let this... Oh no, well it's not that much fire. We'll have more fire. So thank you all for watching, my name is James. Peace.